this is the ride one up core five i just got it a few days ago and i've got 50 miles on it and uh i just rode from San, uh, from Carpinteria to Santa Barbara about 13 miles and I just did put in the 14 amp battery and I pushed it pretty hard I, I mean I pedaled pretty hard but you can see here maybe you can see anyway I still got a full battery and over 13 miles a full battery and riding at level 3 and a little bit at level 4 so it, it, it's uh, performing extremely well. Some other thoughts is I'm a roadie. I, you know, I ride road bikes and, uh, you know, I was all into speed and efficiency. And I was considering getting a thinner tire, <coughs> higher pressure. But um, after riding this a while, the frame is very stiff. You know, there is no shock absorption. In fact, I've got the tires a little overinflated. 50s max, supposedly max. I've, I, I'm not recommending this. I'm going to let the air out pretty soon because, uh, you know, the wide tire at 50 pounds is plenty. And I don't think I would gain a whole lot of, you know, it just probably wouldn't be very uh, practical in the long run. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but anyway, just extremely satisfied at level three and four, and nobody could pass me really, you know what I mean? And it's like you really cheat when you hit the wind, because you, you, normally that'll slow you down quite a bit, but with the weight of the bike, 50 pounds, and the uh, power of the motor, you just kind of blow right through the wind. So, um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say for now. Okay, as I recall yesterday, I, I rounded, or this morning I started out with 37 miles, and now I have 70, so that's just 33 miles. And I had the new battery, the 14 amp battery, and I went about 25 miles while it was still, had five bars, and then it just quickly, dropped a couple more bars this this one though just recently dropped to that so <clears throat> but anyway you can't assume that they're all going to last 25 miles a bar <clears throat> when it's topped off you know you get a bonus in there but uh i i would guess i could get 50 miles probably out of this battery and I did a lot of the work. I pedaled hard. <clears throat> I know I pushed it. And um, the, the numbers that I came up with the other day that, at, you know, a road bike could probably keep up with this at, at level two. A really good rider or even a bunch of riders would probably pass you at number two or three. Um, but anyway, it, it's comfortable. It's an excellent bike. You know, very pleased with it. Uh, it rides fairly well without any power. You can just turn it off, and it's a little heavy, but it, it's, it pedals well. It rolls nicely. You could make it home, you know, even without power. So, anyway, that's all. That's all for now. <clears throat> I just thought of one more thing. The boost really helps to overcome inertia, like when you hit a little uphill or, a, you know, a big strong wind. Or if you've just stopped pedaling for a little while and then you resume, you really notice the difference. You know, it just helps you overcome that inertia and it's just such a big relief. 